Barnabas. Barnabas. Cousin Joshua, it is not proper for you to be in my room. Millicent, what are you doing here? Oh, no. It is I who must ask that of you. Where is Barnabas? In England, some say, though others swear him dead. When did you come here? We came for a wedding. No, I mean tonight. Was Barnabas here when you came? I cannot stay in this house with everyone coming into my room. I shall complain most vigorously to Cousin Naomi. Millicent, you must tell me what has happened. Everything is always my fault. Always. I am always wrong. What did Barnabas do to you? Where is he? Cousin Joshua, how nice of you to ask Daniel and me to Barnabas' wedding. When one has as few relatives as we, one should be much closer than we are. It is living in New York which separates us in body, if not in mind. Millicent. Millicent. Are you not feeling well, Cousin Joshua? Oh, I do hope the sight of Daniel and me has not upset you. We are dusty from the trip, but that is no reason for... What are you doing in my room? Millicent. I am trying to find Barnabas. He was here tonight when you came. You must remember. How long ago did he leave? I do not carry a clock with me. Millicent, what is that on your neck? Touch me. It, it, is, it is nothing. Nothing at all. Barnabas. Oh, my poor Millicent. I will make it up to you. Barnabas cannot help me. Cousin Joshua, you should stop that man who says he is Barnabas from using your house. Yes, I know. He looks so like Barnabas at first. But just because a man looks like Barnabas is no reason to have him around when clearly he is not. You are right. Especially when he is so... so... Different. I am doing what I can about it. He... He does... <laughs> oh, I do not remember what he does. I remember, Millicent. I do remember. I don't want to go up to that room. It can't be true. It can't be true. I will go mad if I stay in this room. Must go somewhere. Find someone, no matter what the consequence. No, there is someone here, of course. Millicent, can you hear me, Millicent? I must see you. Come to me. 
come to me. Millicent, Millicent, come to me. Yes, Cousin Barnabas, I will meet you. I will go wherever you ask me to go. What are you doing? You startled me. I'm sorry. I heard you talking to someone. Who was it? No one. But I heard you, Millicent. I was just uh, remarking to myself about the pleasantness of the evening. As a matter of fact, I was considering taking a walk in the night air. Well, I think you should stay in the house. Uh, no, I must go out. You must. I, I want to. So unlike you, you always complain about the night air. I think probably that has been my problem, shunning the pleasures of life that come so naturally to others. Good night, Cousin Naomi. Naomi, what's the matter? Oh, oh I saw him. He, he's like an animal. What are you talking about? Barnabas. Why didn't you tell me? Why? Why? Where is he? In the garden. With Millicent. With Millicent? Oh, my God.
I took Millicent to her room. She'll be all right. No. No one will ever be right again. How did you find out, Naomi? Lieutenant Forbes. Ah, that swine. I knew he would never keep his word. I would have found out anyway, you know that. Yes, but I'd hoped not until I found a way to help him. How long have you known? Since the day Millicent announced her marriage. And ever since then, you've been trying to find help for Barnabas. Yes, that's why I went to Boston. But you didn't find the answer there, did you? I don't know. Perhaps I did. No, I don't think there is an answer. At least not one with any hope for the future. Or what is left of the future. Oh, Naomi, you mustn't talk like that. Oh, you didn't see him there in the garden tonight. His pale face, as if all the life had been drained from it. Yet he was standing there alive, staring at Millicent, with a look of pure evil in his eyes. Lieutenant Forbes is right. He is a murderer. He's like some wild and depraved beast. Oh, please, Naomi, it does no good to talk about it. Where is he now, Joshua? Where will he go? I don't know. Why is he like this? What has happened to him? I'll go mad if I don't find out. I'm not sure. I fully understand myself. I don't know if it would help if I did. Here, let me take you upstairs. No. I'd rather stay here. But then I'll stay with you. Well, that isn't necessary. I don't want you to be alone now. There was so very little meaning to our lives before tonight. And now there is none. We exist, that's all. We haven't lost each other, Naomi. Before tonight, I'd always believed that tragedy, tragedy was like anything else. That it ran its course, took its toll, and died out. And that we go back to our normal lives. But I don't believe that anymore. You must believe it as I do. Will he come back to the tower room? I don't know. He's there now, isn't he? Naomi, seeing him can do no good. But it can't do any harm. He knows I saw him tonight. I must see him again. No. This is too soon. You've been through enough tonight. Please, Naomi, promise me that you'll at least wait till tomorrow before you see him. I don't need to be protected anymore, Joshua. It's not a question of protecting you. Yes, it is. And it has been since you found out about Barnabas. Lieutenant Forbes said he'd tell me, didn't he, if... if you didn't do as he said. Isn't it, that right? Yes, that's... And so, you're willing to, to sacrifice your pride, your honor, your deepest convictions and submit to blackmail because you're afraid of hurting my feelings. Joshua, it's been so long since I felt you cared. I do care, Naomi. I do. Please, promise me you'll wait till tomorrow. Before you see Barnabas. Do that for me. Yes, I will.
Victoria. To Mrs. Collins. Open the door. Did you manage to get some rest? Yes, a little. How does your arm feel? Not much better. Mrs. Collins, did something happen outside? Outside? I was trying to sleep, and I heard someone scream. It seemed to come from the woods. Oh. Oh, uh, it was Millicent. What happened to her? Nothing. She was taking a walk, and she thought she saw a strange man, but there was no one there. I came to tell you that Mr. Collins is back. Does he know that I'm here? Yes, and he said you could probably leave sometime tomorrow. He's going to arrange about a boat the first thing in the morning. Will he be able to get Peter out of jail? He's going to do his best. But he's not sure that he can. Well, he can't be sure until he talks to the authorities in the, fir in the first thing in the morning. But then I, I, I don't want any arrangements made until he does talk to them. Victoria. I'm sorry, Mrs. Collins. I'm very grateful for all you're doing for me. But I can't leave without Peter. And I can't let him be punished for something that I've done. Are you in love with Peter Bradford? Yes, I am. Well, you're good people. And if at all possible, you can leave here tomorrow and make a new life together someplace far away from Collinsport. I know that Mr. Collins will do his best. And I must go upstairs. Mrs. Collins. Yes? I had the feeling that you were saying goodbye to me. Only good night. Something has happened to you since I spoke to you this afternoon. What is it? Nothing. Yes. Something has happened. Something has affected you very deeply. Please tell me what it is. Victoria, you mustn't concern yourself with the present. You belong to the future and it to you. Be happy in it. And forget everything that's happened here at Collins. Mrs. Collins, 